This past fall, CAPS only had 21 full-time counselors to take care of more than 32,000 students. That shortage impacted students' ability to find and receive the treatment they needed. UNC student Amy John had gone to CAPS for counseling. I received a couple uh, sessions of therapy from CAPS and then they told me they weren't able to give me any more because they were understaffed um, and they suggested that I look for therapy elsewhere, um, but I can't really do that because of it's out of my budget. UNC undergraduate Senate member Andrew Richard had a similar experience. So I had scheduled an appointment with CAPS and it wound up like getting canceled because of this whole the whole thing that happened. I think CAPS is usually overworked. I think they are they were at that point like to the breaking point overworked. Um, so they like, canceled your meeting. Yes. The director at CAPS said two more counselors are coming, but Vice Chancellor for Students Affairs Amy Johnson admits. Hiring has been the challenge. Right now we're having a, a real problem in terms of hiring medical providers across the field because uh, it is just a real challenge to identify folks who are willing to do that. Yet, even if CAPS does successfully hire two full-time counselors, each counselor will still need to be responsible for nearly 1,400 students. The university is now outsourcing some of its mental health services. We have established a relationship with a telehealth provider called You Will. You may have mm -hmm. heard about it. And yeah, we I've just heard about that contract in October. And mm -hmm. they have helped us um, address the need, particularly because students have so told us that they were interested in accessible anywhere telehealth counseling, which helps us address that need. But some students say remote counseling shouldn't be a substitute for in person help. Any student here, should have access to high quality health care 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It exists here on campus that's accessible, where wait times are reasonable, where people can see providers that they know, that know them by their name, they can trust and they can open up to. We reviewed employment records for CAPS and found that they never had more than 25 full time counselors in the past six years. Although a UNC system report shows that one out of every 10 UNC students has seriously considered taking their life during the COVID-19 pandemic. In Chapel Hill, Bella Du, Carolina Week. The true college experience has been on pause since the start of the pandemic.